look into your legal obligations. Look into my citations of what I've done in my- Criminals not only embarrass themselves, but also act hostile towards the police and common people. And I was like, my you should apologize and point. say sorry. They do not consider the effects of their actions. From someone hitting a deputy, to someone throwing a temper tantrum. You're telling me you're sober? This is your way to show me that you're sober. Here are some incidents where police had to arrest these individuals. Um, I think I'm, I'm alone, obviously. I'm in jail, no, I don't know. The first incident revolves around a belligerent woman. On July 4th, 2022, deputies in Florida responded to a report of an intoxicated woman blocking and disturbing traffic by walking on the road. <laughs> Oh. You might now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she's gone. Hey, hey, get out of the road. Go out, get out of the road. Before the deputies arrived, the suspect had caused a disturbance at a nearby beach resort before leaving on foot onto the roadway. Multiple beachgoers witnessed the situation as the suspect began yelling on the road, refusing to leave, leading to traffic blockages. Get out of the road. Get out of the roadway. Get out of the road. Get out of the road. You know her? Get out of the roadway. Upon arrival, the police noticed a woman screaming and running on the road. As they tried to stop her, she was not following the instructions. As the deputies were doing their job, the situation escalated. She became agitated and resisted her arrest. The suspect refused to cooperate with the police and in the following scuffle, hit a deputy. The suspect was brought to the ground and was placed in handcuffs. All right, we are gonna walk. Do not kick I us again. I don't wanna do anything to any of you. I'm a deputy. Can you look at my do citation? Do not kick us again. Can you look at my citation? I, I'm a fault. Dude, stop, please. Get out I, of the uh, road. Stop, Go he's stand not, dude, he will stand. Dude, am I? Turn around, sit down. Turn around, no, that's no. not okay, that's not okay. You sit down. She continued resisting, yelling, and while being placed in handcuffs, she kicked the same deputy in the groin. The suspect was placed into a patrol car as she continued her belligerent behavior. Despite the warnings from the cops, she continued to be combative. At one point, she claimed that her IQ was higher than all the cops. Are we gonna calm down now, please? 
I'm trying to work with you here, okay? If you don't calm down. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm just upset. I don't mean to make anything harmful. I'm just upset because I meant to make my dad proud and I'm okay. embarrassing. I understand you're upset, but you're going to make it a lot worse. It's okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. I get the ritual. I'm a... Look at my name. I get... I'm a police officer. You're okay. a police I'm, officer? And I get the vibes. I know how it works. Are it's, you a police officer? I, I never made it through. Okay. But yeah, I went through the training. I, I know how it works. Okay. And it's okay. And What's I get name? it. And I respect every ounce of it. Sorry. I'm upset. Okay. So this deputy, I'm going to get your keys. I know. I know I deserve this. I'm just mad. That's, just, look, I'm embarrassed. It's, it's not I'm about just, deserve. I'm embarrassed. And I just want to be better. It's not about reserve. That's not fair. I know you deserve. Didn't you made a mistake. So just calm down now so it doesn't get worse. I'm hey, trying Phil, to. I know. Let me look through the window. These two deputies are going to run you. Over I'm just embarrassed and I'm upset because my dad has a big reputation to uphold and I feel like I'm an idiot. Just calm down. You're not an idiot. You made a mistake. <laughs> You've had a little I bit to drink. Calm down for me. Promise? But I want to... Yes, Do your dad I'm proud sorry. now. I'm sorry. I want to... I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, man. I'm just like embarrassed now. Okay. Well, hey, listen. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get transported down. Okay. Now, if you're going to stay calm, you're going to go with my van. You won't have to sit in this, okay, but which I'm means you'll get cuffed to the front and you'll be, out, be able to be a little more comfortable. I'm sorry. As long as you stay cooperative, you'll be annoying. okay. I'm okay. Sorry. You're fine. As long as you be I'm cooperative. I don't have family here. My mom's trying to take her and collect. She probably passed the nursing and she can't know I'm mad because she's trying to pass her nursing exam. Okay. I'm sorry, this might sound like ridiculous, but my mom has to pass her nursing test, so if I act even a fool, it's just going to be like, keep me... This, this, Until won't, this she... won't affect your mom, Okay, sure. I don't want her to, like, even stress. She's so, passed so long. So just keep doing what you're doing I'm right sorry, now. I'm sorry, I'm just... Keep doing what you're doing right now. Just stay, okay, okay, just okay. Stay calm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's, like, you're embarrassing. Fine. You're fine. Alright. I'm just, like, an idiot, but, again. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Um, I think I'm, I'm alone, obviously. I'm in the middle. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. I think I, I, I get, like, offended when people, like, kind of humiliate you. You're living alone. Okay. I'm sorry. I've been annoying. <laughs> I feel bad. It's embarrassing. We'll get it off when we move in the front. Just you can cut it. It's like a chair. No, it's fine. Oh, no, we don't want to cut it. We're not going to destroy anything. I'm sorry. It's like a chair. Can you do me a favor? Just face towards the van real quick. Yeah. Can I step on maybe the pedal? Can you, and then can you turn around for me? Can I step on that? I kind of, like my feet are just like, I don't Okay. I'm sorry. You want me to get a towel for you, ma'am? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know. It kind of feels like it's on fire. I just don't want to be like annoyed. Okay. Oh. Stay fixed. Close the door. I just feel bad. I don't know. You understand? I'm sorry. I just don't know. Tangled into your hair. Is it you can cut your it. Honestly, you can, it's no, we're not going to cut your hair. Cut. I don't care. I have no one here. I'm pretty careful. We're, we're not cutting anything. You guys are trying to make it, things happen. It's not that deep. It's okay. You're fine. Okay. Well, either you're way, fine. if you cut a little off, I won't do that. We're not going to do it. Unfortunately. Hey, I mean, honestly, my hair's not that cute right, right now. Okay. I should put that through her baby. Right. Step over to the right corner. All right. Step on in. Step on in here and have a seat, okay? Watch your head. Just have a seat. <laughs> Later, the woman apologized for her behavior and expressed that she was embarrassed. She was searched and was taken to a nearby parking lot to transfer to a transport van which would take her to jail. The suspect was charged with resisting an officer without violence, disorderly intoxication, and battery on a law enforcement officer. Later in court, the charges were amended to disorderly intoxication and resisting an officer without violence. The suspect was found guilty to both charges and was ordered to pay a total of $875. Before her release from the county jail, the court ordered the suspect to be fitted with a continuous alcohol monitor as part of her pre-release requirements. Coming up next is another story of a woman acting aggressively. Watch what happens next. Step out of the vehicle. Daria. Okay, I'm stepping out. I've asked, but I asked you. I'm, I'm telling you now. The next incident is centered around a woman named Daria. On January 2nd, 2023, in Santa Rosa County, Deputy Clarice P observed a Chevrolet with a faulty brake light, weaving over the fog line several times on northbound Florida Town Road. 
Upon making a left turn onto Highway 90 westbound, Deputy P initiated a traffic stop. Gonna be out of Wisconsin for DOT. You can go ahead and step out for me. Yeah, you can step out. Well, now I'm going to tell you to step out of the vehicle. It's not an option anymore, okay? Okay, you can bring your phone with you. Daria, Daria, listen to me. Step out of the vehicle, and I'm going to talk to you over by my car, okay? If you don't step out, I'm going to pull you out, okay? Step out of the vehicle. Daria. Okay, I've asked, but I asked you. I'm telling you now, step out of the vehicle. Step out? Oh, my God. Are you an officer? Yes, I'm a deputy. Deputy Go Hard. We can discuss Deputy. that later. Deputy Go Hard, I'm. I'm hey, you guys aren't giving me the space. All right. Yeah, nice to meet y'all. And you are? Get out of the car. I'm going to push you out here in about three seconds. You reach for that one more time, I'm going to yoke your ass out. Seriously? Get out of the car, I'm going to move you out of the car. Am I being detained? Yes. Yes. what? Upon contacting the driver, Daria, Deputy P noticed signs of impairment. Daria appeared confused and was unable to provide her insurance information. Suspecting impairment, Deputy P instructed Daria to exit the vehicle. Additional deputies arrived to assist, and due to Daria's lack of cooperation, she had to be physically removed from the vehicle. I told you to step out multiple times. You wouldn't step out. Stop. Okay. Hey, give me your other car hand. insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, wait, this is bad. Hold on. You got that arm? Hold on, yep. this is not right. So, wait a minute. What am I getting? Put your leg down. I think it's sober to be miserable or to be. Well, the thing is, I don't think you're sober right now. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and walk her to my car real quick. You got it? Yeah. And this is for uh, no shoes or. Put no, your no, feet wait. in the car. I'm not getting in the car if I'm not being arrested, Miss P. I don't Sit do down. Am I being arrested? What can I do for you? Oh, okay. I, yes, yes, I do. I need you to listen up, okay? I've got something to read over with you, and I need you to let me know if you understand, okay? Ma'am? Okay, but do you understand what I just read to you? Okay. Okay. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? There's no way I'm going to get through Miranda with her. While attempting to handcuff her, Daria resisted arrest and kicked the deputies. Despite the resistance, Deputy P managed to handcuff Daria and placed her in the patrol car. The deputy attempted to read Daria her Miranda rights, but she did not seem to understand what she was being read. Did you guys already look in her purse and everything? Uh, I haven't, but I'm sure okay. they'll order. Yeah, I'll go check just in case. Did you see her? Like what area she was trying to stuff anything on? Mm -hmm. There's some pills. Probably ibuprofen. Um, no, she was leaning this way. I got a pill identifier for me to make sure. Yeah, I think it's ibuprofen, but I'm not sure. 100%. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll yeah. run it anyway, just in case. Okay. Thank you. There's a bottle, uh, an empty bottle of Adderall, but honestly, with being 30 and one a day, she could have taken it as prescribed. She's a little razor blade. Do what? A little razor? Yeah. Do either of you think she needs to be picked up by EMS before we go or no? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, Jeff. She stole that since she's been in jail. It's different. Oh, yeah, Jeff. She stole that since she's been in jail. That's crazy. She's in there for what? Six months? Last time I got out with Star, it's been a minute. 
He said he got family up in Indiana. He was supposed to be going up there and doing some construction work for you. I know. Dang. But the reason he didn't want to leave is because if he ain't here, Daphne doesn't have any. Because she's like a daughter to him, even though they yeah, have did. on the side. Yeah. His words. His words. <laughs> Nobody find anything? Okay. Couples, but. Uh, couple say y'all can always call them. Though. Gotta give them enough information. I looked at all of that. You did? Okay. I'll do a supplement on why I pushed your ass out the vehicle. Sounds good to me. Anybody see like anything of value for me to? Nothing. Miscellaneous personal effects. That's pretty much it. I, yeah. I put, I put her wallet and stuff in there along with the cell phone and that, that debit card. That uh, that's like not it, hers. It's not hers. No. Okay. It's and I can't even ask her any questions because she like won't she was, respond. She was watching real hard while y'all were digging earlier. That's why I stopped for a minute and just watched her. She yeah. stood up to like the middle where she could see and like. That's what she's doing right now. Every time I tried to read her Miranda, that she'd just be like, like I'm like, do you understand? And she's like, I'm listening. I'm li I didn't know there was questions. I'm listening. I'm like, I'm I'm not going to do this then. No. All righty. Well, cool, cool. You want me to hang out for the car? I got the tushy done. Thank you. Oh, you tried to call her information? No, no, no. That took her from Did they ever run her or come back with her return? Y'all type it in. I think they did while we were going hands on. Oh, I think, I think we were a little occupied. I'll look her up real quick. You you are under arrest. You are going to jail. Okay. Her copy. Thank you. Um, I'll get these squared away and then I'll, I'll put them in the box. Daria's vehicle was searched, and the deputies found her prescription medication, but there were no open containers of alcohol, and also found an empty bottle of pepper spray. Deputy P transported Daria to the Santa Rosa County Jail for further processing. Put your hand right there. All right, Darius. So I'm going to walk you through some instructions, okay? And we're going to do some field sobriety tasks, all right? Okay. The first one, go ahead and face me. Okay. You push your hair out of your eyes? Are you wearing any contacts right now? No. And you normally wear glasses. Can I walk through the instructions for the first task? Are you ready? For, are we, like, going out? No, nope, we're just, I'm going to walk you through some instructions, okay? You see the tip of this pin? Okay, so what I want you to do is keep your feet together, arms all the way down at your sides, okay? I'm going to move this pin. I want you to follow the tip of this pin with your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? Do you understand those instructions? Repeat it, please. Sorry. Okay, so I want you to stand with your feet together and your arms down at your sides. When I move this pin, I want you to follow it with your eyes only. I don't want you to move your head, okay? Does that make sense? Do you understand those instructions? I appreciate you repeating them twice. Are you ready to start? And I need, yeah, repeat them one more time. Okay. You're going to keep your feet together right. and your arms down at your sides. Right. Feet together. When I move this pin, I want you to follow the pin with your eyes only. Do not move your head. Okay? Do you understand? Uh -huh. Do you understand? Are you ready to start? All right, Darius, so, yep. Eyes only, I've, don't move I've your head, okay? I've the law. I've never done this before. You know, okay, well, that's, I'm, that's why I'm trying to re-explain it to make sure you understand, okay? Okay. Eyes only, don't move your head, okay? You're still oh, moving your head. I want you to follow the pen with your eyes only, okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure to hold your head still, looking straight forward, okay? Mm -hmm. So hold your head up, mm -hmm. look straight forward. Follow the pen with your eyes only, okay? Okay. You ready to move on to the next test? Did I do well? Oh, it's, it's not a pass or fail, okay? Are you ready to move on to the next test? 
All right, so do you see this line right here, Daria? Um, I don't see my shoes. The shoes are off or on? You're, you can leave your shoes off. They've already P. turned them in. Wait, Sergeant P, is that the full name? Are you ready for the next test, Daria? Um, I'm going to give you some instructions, okay? Hey, and I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm trying to answer that, your instructions. I understand. I haven't given to the, I haven't given them to you yet. Okay, do you see this line on the ground, Daria? You see this, this line right here? Yes. Okay, so what I want you to do is place your left foot on the line like this. You know, um, all right. No, nope, face this way. Thank you for taking me. Thanks for being on me. Okay. Daria. About face? Face towards me. Okay. Put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot right in front of it with your heel touching your toe. Okay, well this task doesn't involve your eyes. Okay, this is going to be a walking test. It's called the walk and turn, okay? All right. So put your left foot on the line for me. Okay. Put your right foot directly in front of it with your heel touching your toes. And keep your arms down to your side. Okay, I want you to maintain this position the whole time I'm giving you instructions, okay? So for Without this, glasses, I'll try to maintain. okay, for this task, you're going to start in this position. What I want you to do is take nine heel to toe, heel to toe steps down. You're going to take a ser not yet. Wait, Daria, wait to start until I tell you. Okay. Once you get to the end, you're going to take a series of small steps. Turn around, nine heel to toe steps back. Okay. Can you get back on the line for me, Daria? Remember, I told you to maintain that position while I did the whole instructions. Daria, if if you don't listen to the instructions, I'm going to put it down as a refusal, okay? Okay. They're already they're already turned into your jail property, okay? I'm not from here. I don't know. Okay. Daria, officer, what am I being arrested for? I've already explained. Are you going to complete this task for me or not? It's a yes or no. And and Sergeant P, where where are you where are you looking at? I'm asking you to complete a task for me. Are you going to complete it? Okay, like I said, put one foot on the line, other foot right in front of it, heel to toe. Nope, facing me. Put your other foot directly in front of that foot with your heel touching your toe. Okay, keep your arms down at your side. and I'm going to demonstrate, okay? So like I said, you're going to start off heel to toe, keep your arms down at your side. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps down, take a series of small turns, nine heel to toe steps back. You're going to count out loud like this. I'm going to show you, okay? You're going to go one, two, three, all the way up to nine. You're going to keep one foot on the line, take a series of small steps to turn around. One, two, three, all the way to nine. Do you understand the instructions, Daria? Okay, Daria, do you understand the instructions? So, you asked me, you're, you said you want to, the, my glasses. Okay, I'm done with the glasses conversation. And of course I can do this. I okay. would love to get on and go home. You you can begin whenever you're ready. Daria, you can begin the task whenever you're ready. All right, I've got one more task for you. Are you ready for the instructions? Do you want to do the last test for me? After the instructions are um, to be um, given? These tasks are your way to show me that you're sober, okay? Are you willing to do the last task for me? I'm taking my glasses. Taking my shoes, of, of course I'm willing to do tests. I haven't, okay. I'm not a troublemaker. I don't, okay. I'm not under the influence. Are you ready for me to give you instructions? I, however, I do respect, however, however. So the next test, it's going to be the one leg stand. 
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lift one foot, whichever foot you want, it's your choice. You're going to hold it about six inches above the ground with, your, with the bottom of your foot flat to the ground, or um, parallel with the ground, I apologize. And you're going to count up to 30. Or you're gonna, I, I apologize. Daria, let me, let me restart these instructions for you, okay? Daria, are you going to perform this task for me? Yes or no? If I can go home, because I'm a, you do not think I'm a law-abiding citizen? I'm asking Sorry, you to perform this task for me. Speak. It's your decision if you want to say yes, if you don't say no. Yes, okay, stand with your feet together and your arms down at your side. Why? If I say no, what do I do? do I, this is I how I give you the instructions, okay? So the next test, the one leg stand, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up one foot, whichever foot you want. You're going to hold it about six inches above the ground with your foot parallel to the floor. And you're going to count until I tell you to say stop. It's going to look like this, okay? It's going to be 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, up until I tell you to stop, okay? And the whole time you're counting, I want you to look at the foot that you have picked up. Do you understand all those instructions? Are you going to perform this task or not? This is the last time I'm going to ask you, okay? If this helps, and this is going to help me for what, yeah. What you're help you're me telling for? me you're sober. This is your way to show me that you're sober, okay? Actually, you can just look at all the meetings I go to. Okay. okay. I'm going to put yes, down I that you refused this last I task. This. I'm just saying, why don't you look at Daria, the meetings I attend? It's now or never. We're going to move on to our next test, I okay? No, I'm saying, of course I'm going to do the task, but I've told you, I've told you, and I don't want to tell you. I'm saying, like, what was I doing? I want to, you know, okay. Sorry. Daria, oh, put have, your hands behind your back for me real quick. Sorry. I've got to cuff you to walk no, you back saying, inside. Like, let me do the thing. May I it's, do No, we're too late for that. I didn't refuse it. Okay. Okay. We're just, we have to move Here, on. I'll put the foot on. Foot? Okay. No, Daria. I have to cuff you to walk you back inside, okay? No, I'm saying, like, I just wanted to show you that. I have a disability. You know, what's your What's your disability? Um, it's the. Uh, no, I'm just saying I, I don't have a disability. Okay. I don't have a okay. disability. I'm saying like people Daria, are fat. Step, Daria. People are. Step forward for me. Wait, can I Daria, try this no, again, please? No. Okay. Uh, what is going on? We're moving on to the next thing, okay? At the jail in the Sally Port, Deputy P conducted field sobriety exercises. The horizontal gaze nystagmus test was hindered by Daria turning her head. The walk and turn test resulted in Daria's failure to walk nine heel to toe steps and turn in each direction as instructed. Daria refused to complete the one leg stand test. I think I need we'll, we'll talk about all that in a minute, Daria. Sit down for me. I just, I just want to be treated well, you know. Okay, I, well, I'm, I'm a good girl. No worries, I'm a good woman. That's no worries, Go ahead and sit down. down for me. I don't, I don't want you to fall over. Sit down. Go ahead and sit down. Put the chair right there. I don't know what's going on. Sit down. They're going to tell you if you sit down. Sit down. Um, can I have a letter? Sit down. I'm trying to help you sit down. You said you wanted help. Daria, I am now requesting that you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. What is it called again? Will you take the test? What? Alcohol content? Yes. Yes. You will? Yes. Okay. steps and then we'll be done with this part of the process, okay? It's not going to so, be too, too much longer. We'll try to make it pretty quick for you. And then home? Yeah, and then home. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you when to breathe and I want you to keep on breathing until I tell you to stop, okay? Mm -hmm. You have to give a good breath sample, so give it a deep breath, okay? Wait a minute, hold on. I have to think about this for a second. This. I need to think about something lawyer related because um, I just, is this, this is, okay, this is, 
Like, I don't know if I should do this. Okay. Well, I'm going to read you one more Wait, tell me if I should or not. Tell me how it'll help me. I can't give you legal advice. Tell me how it'll help me. Can you listen up so he can read you one more time? If you refuse to take the test I have requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusing to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood. Wait, what? Uh, additionally, if you refuse really to take the test, I have a request of you, and if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you'll be committing a misdemeanor, in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusal to submit to the test I have requested is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Do you still refuse? Yes or no? In order to go home today? Like, yes or no? Like, do you want to get a breath? Yes or no? Are y'all going to get yes or no? Yes or no? With the goal of going back to my yes car? Or yes or no? Yes or no? So I can go back to my car? Yes or no? But why? Wait, but refusal. I thought y'all would you. You can put nice stuff. I need you. I'm begging you. Okay. We'll do one more. We'll try one more. Yes, one. No, this. Alright. I'm, I'm not doing that. We ain't doing this. Unless you want me to do my alcohol sobriety test. Absolutely. I will blow into this. Sorry for not doing that. That was it. You already refused. No, you can all, in AA, as long as you own up to, to the, uh, I'm saying, can I please blow into this, you know? I didn't get sober to, to not show you that I'm sober. All right, I'm going to help you out by reading something. No, 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 I'm going to blow it. I'm going to blow it. Are you ready? I want to blow into I am now requesting that you submit to a lawful test of your urine for the purpose of determining its the presence of chemical or controlled substances. I apologize, Otto. Yes or no? I apologize. Where is the camera? Right there. It's right there. Yes or no? Just, um, today at yes or no, Daria? Um, 7 I'm going to take that as a no. On January 2nd, 2023. I just wanted to... I didn't want to get... I just wanted to announce, Sergeant... Daria. AP, Daria. You, Sergeant... Yes or no? And I mean... That yes or no? Good. Yes or no? Okay. If you refuse to take the test I have requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusing to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test I have requested of you, and if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you will be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusal to submit the test I have requested is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Do you still refuse? Um. Yes or no? This is about giving a urine sample. Yes or no? Do you want to give me urine? I want to give you my, um, I'm so sorry about that. We're done with breath. Why? Urine. Breath. Do you want to give urine? Do I, I want to give you, I want to. Yes um, or no? Do you want to give urine? Breath because I don't drink and I, and I don't. I'm going to take this as a no, Daria. Do you want to give urine? Yes or no? I want, why can't I give you my breath? I'll yes or no? Say. Yes or no? To you, I, I'm not drinking. Okay, I'm done with you. Do you call drinking. my sponsor? Chemical or controlled substance? Any narcotics? I don't drink. Any narcotics in your system? Why don't you want to show me this? No, I okay. don't do have narcotics in my okay, system. Okay, so do you want to give urine? I, I didn't get. I want to show you I am a so. I'm going to take that as a no. Okay, I'm going to read one more thing to you and then I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Hey, Daria. Daria, can you sit back down, please? Can you sit back down, please? Daria? Daria, can you sit back down, please? I'm going to show you that I, I don't drink. Can you sit back down, please? Only if I can show you that I breath for you. Only if I can breath for you, please. I'm going to read something to you, okay? Yeah. Are you ready for your oh, Miranda? Jesus. You know what Miranda is? Hold on. Hold on, sorry. Just start a little bit. Try to stand very still. Try to stand very still. Hey, did you double? Uh, no. Because it's pretty tight. You have the... You did. I mean, I mean do you double them? Can you undouble them? Oh, that's not right. Just like, um, you have the right to remain silent. Okay, Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer any questions without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. Do you understand, Miranda? Can I ask you? Can I ask you another question? Or do you want my parents or what? Nope. I just I have another question for you. Mm -hmm. Who is? Yeah, we're done. We're done. That's your boyfriend's name. Okay. 
Does he know that you have his debit card? Yep. So he gave you the debit card to get a haircut. I'm just asking, because I've got to I've got to get this back to him. I don't want to talk. Okay. All right, come on, Darren. It's like he didn't know. And I have to right. the car all this. Following the failed field sobriety exercises, Daria underwent further processing at the jail. She was read implied consent warnings and initially agreed to submit breath samples, but ultimately refused to cooperate during the test. Daria also declined to provide a urine sample. She had the same uncooperative behavior at the jail. Daria was charged with driving under the influence and resisting without violence, with a total bond set at $3,500. She received a DUI citation, a UTC for no proof of insurance, and a warning for inoperable brake lights. Our last incident involves a belligerent woman. Let's delve into details. Stop! 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 You back away, okay? The last incident is caused by a 25-year-old Tiffany. On May 4th, 2022, in Pasco County, Officers responded to a report of a battery. Upon arrival, they tried to assess the situation by talking to the woman in question. What? What ended up happening over at the CBS? Me and my mom's friend fought. That's why I was walking in the first place. Okay, and then this other person ended up? I'm literally trying to call her right now. I know, well, listen, hang on. No, I'm not doing okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, because I'm getting yelled at for you're not getting yelled Kelly. at. I'm yeah, I'm getting yelled at for well, it. How am I yelling at you? I'm tired of people yelling at me. I just found out my mom has cancer again, and she was being a total so I yelled at her and okay. threw soda at her. You threw a soda at your mom? No, not my mom. Why the hell would I throw a soda I, at her? You said your mom cancer and somebody was yelling at no, you? No, the Kelly. I tried, tried to yeah. call Kelly to apologize Who's to Kelly? her. The girl. What girl? The police approached the suspect who was on a call with Kelly. Soon she started yelling, saying she was yelling at people as revenge and also her mother had cancer. Tiffany accepted that she threw soda at Kelly and yelled at her. Now she was calling her to apologize for her behavior so she could avoid the cops. Who is Kelly in reference to you guys? Like who is she? She's my mom's friend. Okay. My wife's friend. So Kelly started talking crap about your mom. And then yeah, you and I told her, her, no, I told her after we got out of there and got, told her my mom has, Cancer again, sorry. It's just a ridiculous thing. And I was like, My you should apologize and point. say sorry, and you're, you should regret what you said to her because of it. Because mm -hmm. she has now she has a big, huge <laughs> thing of cancer. So she got and I was upset. good because I'm pretty sure my mom's going to die. Okay. So I threw the soda at her, and I was like, you're being rude. Because she told me I was being a bit. She has a big thing of cancer. <laughs> Blown out of proportion, and she threw us out of the car. Over at CVS. Yeah. So I listen, did this other off. blonde guy thing ever happen? Yeah, it did. Okay. I swear on my life. You know, it looks kind of funny after this other person calls and then because this I thought other she thing must happens. be wasn't right being serious. I thought right I could apologize to her. And then she started saying stuff about your mom. Yeah, cancer. and that's when I started walking home because she kicked me out of the car, and I don't blame her. I was being an so yeah, I would have kicked me out of the car too. And that's when I was walking and that blonde guy started harassing me and okay. touching me. And I was behind her. Alright, so you were being, from what you said, an to Kelly, and then you threw a soda on her? I spilled my soda on her, not threw a soda on her. Just a minute ago you said you threw a soda I, at her. Not like I did this. So you poured a soda on her? Yeah. It's the same thing, same either. She further stated that she and her mom's friend Kelly got into an argument, so Kelly kicked her out of the vehicle. That's how she ended up here. She also claimed that when she was walking on the road, someone touched her inappropriately and harassed her. Well, right now she's gonna wait. No, I'm gonna know. Gonna... You're waiting right here. Go yourself. Do I? Do we have to like chase after you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. No, I don't care you're, you're, if I. You're gonna wait right here. Do not you're push me. Because I'll push worse. you back. Do not back. walk away make, again. This is gonna make. I don't care if it makes worse. Get your hands off of me. I'm talking to my mom right now. Stop. 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 When the officer confronted her, she started walking away. The officer asked her to stop. Soon, the woman became very uncooperative and escalated the situation. 
Her arrest became tense and worsened when the officers were arresting her. She kicked one of the officers. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Daddy! Daddy, my arm is out of play. Anything on you're not supposed to have? No, why the f would I? You better stop. <laughs> I just wanted to Sit talk down. to my mom. Sit down. <laughs> do you want your stuff to go with you or do you want your stuff to go with your dad? I don't. <laughs> it's not a trick question. It's one or two things. You want why to go with you or you want to go with arrested? dad? You tried to kick me. I wanted you to get off me or hurt. I don't care. Did I was tell trying you to, to stop? tell you or hurt. Did we tell you to stop? Did I didn't you hear you. Crap. No, I really. Crap. I'm serious. Crap. Daddy. So am I. So am I. Your daddy ain't get you out of this. Do you want to keep your purse with you? Or do you want it to go with yes, your dad? Yes, I want my sh It's all you know. Who is Catron Zabeth? Huh? That's mom? Why does she have her pills? <laughs> Huh? Okay, so this is your wife's narcotics. Why does she have your wife's narcotics? Are you not understanding what I'm saying? This is not your wife, right? You say my my wife keeps all of our narcotics. I'm asking you, why does she have your wife's narcotics? Because she happened to give her one. She's gonna give her something. What's the charge? Uh, it's going to be Simple Bat and Bat Leo. Okay. Come on, Tiffany. Again, I know you're searching on Steam. Do you have anything that you're not supposed to have? Mm. Okay, because if not, you've already been in jail before. They're going to do the body scan. Yeah, I know. If something pops up, then we're going to have to go through that whole mess. Yeah. Okay? I'm good. Okay. All right, here. I'm sorry again. Try to adjust your shirt oh, here, God, okay? It's there you go. Off. Okay. Trying to adjust your shirt a little bit. Here, step to the back of the car. I'm going to take those off again and swap them out. All right, what I need you to do is lean up on this door. Do you a favor. Just take a little bit of a step back. Now lean forward with your feet right there. Lift one foot for me. You were detained or so. Careful, careful. Okay. Roll your shoulder a little bit, let him get this one off, okay? Here you go. Lock it on me there. Alright, listen, they're going to be better if you either go both together or both back to back, okay? I don't know if I can pop it. Okay. Alright, let's go take a couple pictures of uh, I don't have any makeup wipes, okay? <laughs> Just you got a little scratch on your, your head there when you're wrestling around. Got any other, I don't see any other injuries or anything like that, so, so me. The woman was arrested and placed in a police vehicle. At that moment, she was crying and yelling. Also, she was still aggressive toward the officers. Upon searching her purse, officers found medications belonging to Tiffany's mother. She was then searched, and her injuries were photographed. Later, she was transported to the jail for further procedures. The female was charged with battery upon a peace officer. If you enjoyed these true crime videos, subscribe to watch more.